Somewhere in the Black Mountains of Wales, an unlikely crop is being cultivated. Daffodils, which are grown at higher altitudes, hold a special power. They produce a crucial medical compound, a key component in pills to combat Alzheimer's. Recent studies reveal another potentially astonishing benefit. Early evidence shows high-altitude daffodils produce extract, which when fed to cows has the unique ability to reduce methane emissions. The challenge to get flower crops to grow consistently on mountain tops. We found when we tried to grow daffodils here that all the traditional practices from the daffodil industry from decades uh, didn't work and didn't apply. In the end we had to throw out the rule book and completely reinvent the whole process from start to finish. The daffodil is synonymous with Wales. It's the national flower of the country, but the last place you'd expect it to be grown here is the Black Mountains. The reason it is, although it's challenging, is because these conditions are the perfect conditions to produce the crucial compound when it comes to reducing methane. It became apparent very quickly that daffodils are packed full of very powerful bioactive compounds. Cows and other farm animals contribute approximately 14% of human-induced climate emissions. Scientists are hopeful that as well as reducing emissions, daffodil extract can make animal digestive systems more efficient. What we also are expecting to see is an improvement in protein utilisation, which means that we can start looking at animal diets and perhaps reducing some of the protein they're getting in because they're going to get more out of what they're, what's being fed. So that's a really, also really promising benefit from this additive. The UK government is now backing a four-year trial, which, if successful, could have profound implications. It's quite an unreal situation. In front of us now, um, the potential it could make to change the world on a, a number of levels, um, it's incredibly exciting and very scary. While not the only solution to climate change, this trial has the potential to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and help slow down the increasing global temperatures. Luke Hanrahan, Euronews, Wales.